and in this video we are going to generate electricity bill for one consumer first of all we are going to create a table called e bill let us execute run sql command line which is there as shortcut on my desktop otherwise click on start button and here you can find run sql command line so if i select this you will get this run sql command line window here we are going to type the first command as connect and press enter now it is asking the user to enter user name for example i am going to enter system next it is asking the user to enter password so password is password only because here at the time of installation of this oracle 10g edition i have typed password as password only so now i am going to type p a w s w o r d and press enter here you can see it is displaying connected now it is connected to the local server now it's time to create a table with the help of the command called create table and the name table name is e bill and here inside the round bracket i am going to write meter number here data type i am going to take is var char and the size you can give is 10 inside the round bracket so this is the first column comma the next column i want is the name that is consumer or customer name and whose data type is also variable character and here i'm going to give the size as 25 means up to 25 characters you can enter customers or consumers name comma next column is bill date bill date consisting of the date type of data type next comma here i'll write units it is of type number and whose size is 4 close the bracket close one more bracket for e bill and put semicolon press enter now you can see table created so once the table is created we have to insert records into e bill table right yes let us insert so there are three methods to insert the values into the table created so i'm going to show you the first method insert into e bill next we are going to write the column names for example meter number comma c name that is customer or consumer name next i'll write bill date comma units close the bracket then we'll write values and inside the bracket we are going to write the value for meter number for example i'm going to write e1 so e1 is what type of data it is var char type of data var char char and date type of data should be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark here we need to put single pair of quotation mark next comma c name that is customer or consumer name is also var char type of data so hence it has to be written in a single pair of quotation mark for example i am going to write akshay and end the single quotation mark comma next after the c name we have got bill date so date type of data should also be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark here i am going to write uh, in a single pair of quotation mark 23 and i want to write february so we have to write only three letters of the month dash and then i'm going to enter 2022 for example and then i'm going to end the single quotation mark next comma uh, after the bill date we have got units you can write any number of units for example i'm going to enter 50 over here and then close the bracket put semicolon press enter here you can see one row is created so this is the first method to insert values into the table let us continue with the second second record with the second method so here i am going to write insert into e bill here i am going to write values and inside the round bracket directly we will start inserting values so e1 is inserted now i am going to insert e2 and it should be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark next comma we have to write the consumer name for example in a single quotation mark i am going to write pratham and end the single quotation mark comma 
we have to write bill date for example i am going to write 10 so before that we have to write single pair of quotation mark so 10 i'll write jan that is january next i'm going to write uh, 2022 for example single pair of quotation mark and then we'll go for writing number of units put comma and here i'm going to write 101 units and close the bracket put semicolon press enter here you can see we have created one more record so let us go for the third method of inserting values into the table here i'll write insert into e bill values and inside the round bracket i'm going to write single pair of quotation mark i'll use ampersand symbol and here i'll write the column name that is meter number and end the double quotation mark because meter number is var char type of data hence it has to be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark next comma after meter number we have consumer name or customer name that is also var char type of data we have to use single pair of quotation mark ampersand i'll write c name and end the single quotation mark comma after c name we have got bill date that is also put in a single pair of quotation mark ampersand i'll write bill underscore date and the quotation mark and comma so after bill date we have units that is number type of data so hence we have to write simply ampersand and units close the bracket put semicolon and press enter here you can see it is asking the user to enter value for meter number now i'm going to enter e3 to press enter now it is asking the user to enter value for customer name for example i'm going to enter sneha and press enter now i have to enter bill date randomly you can enter any date okay so for example i'm going to enter 01 december dec we have to write and then we have to write 2021 for example you press enter next it is asking the user to enter value for units so for example i'm going to enter 60 units and press enter here you can see one more record using third method we have inserted so in order to execute this command once again what we need to do is we can use forward slash and press enter here you can see enter value for meter number now i'm going to enter e4 and press enter now it is asking enter value for customer or consumer name for example i'll write akash and press enter so bill date will write 30 jan 2022 for example i'll press enter next enter value for units here number of units consumed by the consumer uh, for example i'm going to enter 150 and then press enter here you can see one more row is created so i want to insert one more record that is fifth record for that i'm going to type forward slash press enter so enter value for meter number now i'm going to enter e5 press enter now it is asking the user to enter value for customer or consumer name now i'm going to write for example kasturi and enter so bill date it has to be written uh, any any uh, date you can write so for example i'm going to write 23 i'll write july can be written as j u l next i'll write 2022 for example and press enter so next it is asking the user to enter value for units now i'm going to write for example 35 units and plus enter here you can see the fifth record is also created now we have to check out whether all of these uh, records are entered properly in the table or not for that i have to write select all from the table name that is e bill and put semicolon press enter here you can see we got this table with four columns meter number consumer number bill date and units right okay so after inserting values what we need to do so you can see here we need to add columns called bill amount and due date so i want to add two columns to this existing 
table. So for that, I have to alter the table. So I'm going to write alter table e bill, correct? So e bill. Then I have to use the command called add. And inside the round bracket, I'm going to write bill amount. And bill amount is of type number. And here I'm going to write six comma two. So six means all the digits, including the decimal point, total six places must be there. Comma to represent after the decimal point. I want two digits. Okay. Next, after this, put comma. I want to add one more column called due date. So I'll write due date, and this data type is date only. So closing bracket and put semicolon. Press enter. Here you can see table altered. Means what? It is added. Two columns are added. So in order to execute the previous command, I'm going to use up arrow mark. Here you can see it is. So we have just now executed select all from e bill. So press enter. So here you can see bill amount and due date. Both of these two columns are added. Okay. So next, I want to insert values to both of these two columns. So for that, I have to go for updating the table. So I'll write update e bill set bill amount bill amount is equal to for example minimum amount i'm going to write 100 plus number of units consumed by the consumer uh, here i'm going to write units because it is name of the column next into i'll write 4.10 you can write any value okay so for each unit, how, how much you want to charge, you can write that value over here. Yes. Next. After this, I'll use the clause where units is less than or equal to 100. So if the number of units are less than or equal to 100, then each unit must be charged with rupees 4.10. Put semicolon, press enter. Here you can see three rows are updated. You can easily refer the above table wherein you can find units less than 100 consisting of first record and third record and the fifth record consisting of the number of units less than 100. Hence, three rows are updated. Now, what if the number of units are greater than 100? For that, once again, I'm going to execute the same command called update e bill set uh, bill amount right so bill underscore amt amount is equal to 100 rupees is minimum charge that is fixed plus here i'm going to write units into 4.10 okay after this plus i'll write uh, inside of the round bracket units minus 100. Why 100 minus 100? Because for first 100 units, you have to charge 4.10. So after 101st unit, we have to charge 5 rupees or you can give any other value. Not only 5, you can give uh, any other value other than 5. Yes. Next, we are going to use where clause where units is greater than 100 and put semicolon press enter. Here you can see two rows updated you can easily refer back to the table that consisting of two rows that consisting units greater than or equal to not greater than or equal to greater than 100 greater than 100 yes okay next let us go for the next query so what query do we have update values of course we have updated both the columns next we have to compute due date as billing date plus 15 days so whenever you see the electricity bill whenever they are going to issue that day onwards 15 days due date will be given within which you have to pay the bill otherwise you will be penalized okay so here i'm going to write update because just now we have updated only bill amount i have to update due date amount now update i'll write 
ई बिल सेट ड्यू डेट इज इक्वल टू एल राइट बिल डेट बिल डेट प्लस फिफ्टीन डेज तो फिफ्टीन सेमी कोलन एंड एंटर so all the five rows are updated now i want to check whether the bill amount and due date is updated properly or not for that i have to press up arrow mark to execute the previously executed commands so i have to press till i get select all from e bill so here you can find select all from e bill now press enter here you can see bill amount and due date both of these two are updated and you can refer back to the table previously you got i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you